very beetle like, easy to die. The hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 12. Again, you could use a lighter wire hook if you wish. This is the heavier side. And the thread I'm using is a Uni 8O in black. Now, all I'm going to do is take the thread down, just put a layer of thread along the shank until basically when you let the bobbin go, it's in line with the barb, and then remove the waste piece. Now, this is Peacock Swordtail. See that lovely green? That's a, this is the colour you're looking for. Now you're looking for probably around about a good half a dozen plus of these fibres. What I'm going to do is tie them in by the tips, in by the tip area. So I've got the roots which are tore off from the stem of the feather. And there's a single turn round, pull these in. So you get to about that point there. Don't want to get too close to the ends because they are a bit brittle there. Trim at the full length of the body. For the rib, I'm just using a small oval silver tinsel. Again, catch it on the side and the full length of the body. Then I'm going to run up, tying these in. Just nice and tight. Stopping round about a mil or two from the eye. And then work your way back down. Doesn't have to be touching turns, but you can just quickly take the thread down. Now, I normally tie it with a dub body, in this case, dyed black seal sewer. You could use a floss body if you wish. And then what you do is build up your body. Just a nice shape. Looking for a little bit too shy with the body. Um, don't make it too thin. It's a kind of beetle-like pattern. So give it that kind of beetle shape. All the way up. To that point there. I'm going to bring my silver rib up through. You're looking four to five turns. Now this last point, the last turn here, I just pull anything that's going forward with the eye. Just pull it up, pull it back using the the rib, and then tie it down. And we make sure there's wax on the thread at this point, and then take away the excess. And then tidy up, take the thread up to the point where you're going to tie in your basically the, the back of the fly. Now you could just pull it over the back, turn or two, and that's it. That's that done. But to make it last that wee bit longer, it's best just a wee touch. Now you only need a wee touch of super glue. Or even varnish if you haven't got super glue. Just touch it. I don't, you don't need a lot. Don't want it seeping into the feathers too much. You just want it to catch a hold of them. Give it a second and then bring it over. Bring your thread over the back. And tie it down. Draw away the excess. Now just leave that just now. Leave it more wax onto your thread and then tidy up. Now it has a wing of Lady Amherst. This is the Lady Amherst here. Really the bigger feathers at the top I prefer because they're a bit straighter. This is the, the crest here. It's the Lady Amherst. Just like a Golden pheasant crest, but all it's white and black. I see, I've got one of the bigger feathers at the top. Just have a look, take away the rubbish on either side. Now, I want to try and get them reasonably straight. You want some of the black, both in the centre and at the tip. Looking there's about, I'm going to count them, just over half a dozen or so fibres there. Want it just to the back of the hook, no any further than that. Hold it. Pinch and loop, just to tie it down. As always, people say they, they don't like too much on. Uh, put on as much as you like, sure fly. But that's about right, so I would say, in this pattern. 
Now I'm going to use a Chinese neck, tied black, it's a hen neck, on one of the smaller feathers. Tie it in by the tip, catch it on the side, with the good side of the feather facing myself, and fold the tip back for security. Don't be worried, don't worry too much about the head size in this fly, it is a, like a beetle in a way. But with the hackle in front, and once you've tied them down, or tied it on, you'll find you've got very little headled. Draw these fibres back, folding the hackle fibres back, and then doing one turn in front of the other. Now you could use hackle pliers here if you want, I'm, for years I've just learnt to use, not to use them. When you're using your hands, 95% of the hackles you wind on will not snap because you've got a better feel for them. So there's a couple of turns, two and a half turns or so there. Take your thread to the eye for security, and there's plenty of room. You can fold back the hackle. Make sure everything's fine. And we drop back so onto your thread. Gives you lots of grip. Finish off, turn away your thread, come in, trim off the hackle point, and there you are. And that's Ayrshire's Morani Pig. And another variant that I tie quite a few, well the one of the first ones I first tie, I actually put a crest tail on it, which was wrong, because that's not the original dressing as far as I believe anyway. And I caught on that one, so you could, as a variant, you could put a crest tail, a golden pheasant crest. As you see, it's a simple wee dressing. It's a good fly for uh, right through the season in all sizes. But it'll certainly work at the beginning of the season. Some of these bog type beetles it's about, the fish seem to really like them. And then, that there's yeah. your Morani pig. That's another coat of varnish would finish it off nice. Great fun to have you